My son is doing the summer intensive for six weeks. I saw Barbara Arrowsmith Young about three years ago in Sydney. She came out to do a presentation at one of the schools out there. And Chasper's been having um, interventions probably since he was about three years old. And after I read her book, I just, it just made so much sense that rather than learning strategies, that they would be actually working on the weaknesses in the brain. My family lives in Vermont, and we're here because friends of ours, their two boys attend school here, and she told us that there was a summer program, and oh, we don't have anything like this near where we are. We've come to Arrowsmith um, because Isabel's really struggled through her entire school career. She's 12, and particularly struggles with maths, but has struggled with everything through, you know, through her life, um, with anything to do with education, working memory, uh, all of those sorts of things. Through the traditional education system, being told, I think, to accept what, you know, how Isabel is, and that she's always going to struggle, and not, she, she can't tell the time, she has got no idea of money, um, and yet deep down for us, we felt there was more there with Isabel. We didn't think that it necessarily reflected her true level of intelligence and, and grasp. And so we stumbled upon Arrowsmith and his summer intensive and we thought, well, we'll give it a shot. So we've come to Toronto for six weeks to see how we go. We discovered this place through Anna's um, occupational therapist who passed me the book of uh, Norman Deutsch. Uh, which I read the second chapter, which particularly speaks about Barbara's work, and I suddenly felt very excited about what I was reading. And is here on the six-week intensive um, course, and she's absolutely delighted. She's loving every minute of it. She's working really hard. I came here because I have a learning disorder, which makes it harder for me to like read books and understand things in school like on tests and it just got very complicated and I didn't understand it and the teachers weren't helping at all. He struggled through school ever since I can remember and in fact it struggled to the point he was so unhappy we took him out and started homeschooling him. I've been here for two weeks and I've noticed that reading things like complicated things like uh, Lord of the Rings has gotten a lot easier. I hope that thing, doing things like, uh, I guess, like math tests and other things like that will be easier, easier for me than they have been in the past. That's really what I'm hoping for. Um, he struggled with math, he had a hard time with reading, and I found a summer program here at Aerosmith, um, so we decided to, to give it a try and see if it would help Alex. So Chas was taken off five weeks from school, and, um, and we're here, and we just putting our toe in, dipping our toe in and seeing what happens and um, just trying not to get too emotional about the whole thing and just seeing how he's going to go after this intensive. chasper has been trying to learn his times tables since he was about six and it's, it's very difficult for him to actually retain that information and so we've sort of given up on it to a degree. And, um, and then I said to him um, over dinner, I said, let's just go back on your times table. I didn't understand fractions, timetables and clocks. That's basically my life story. And he actually was considering he, we haven't done it for, you know, since he was on school holidays, which is um, about six weeks now. He was very, he actually was able to work it out. I think it's really helping me with my timetables and everything. Chasper's often describes himself as feeling foggy. He said that something happens in his head and, and it feels like there's a fog going through. And so I asked him, I said, how's that fog going? How are you going with it? And he said, um, I think that, the, that it's working, the program is working. And I said, what do you mean by that? And he said, it feels like the fog has lifted a little bit and that my brain's been sorted out. So that's quite big. What we've seen this week is a really, really, in a number of areas, a really interesting improvement. We're starting to see a lot more reasoning. So we're seeing some gains in, in mathematics. Basic things, <laughs> Isabel could never really understand the concept of money um, or that there was a hundred cents in a dollar. And she's getting that now. She's talking in fractions now, which she never did. You know, she's talking about, you know, 30 seconds is half a minute. 15 seconds is a quarter and she never used fractions because she never understood them and she's suddenly getting that. She said to me on the train on the way here, you know, she said, gee, you know, I never believed that this could happen. 
you know, that I could make these sort of changes. I'm here to improve my learning capability, rewiring my brain, per se. Um, I've always struggled during school and this is kind of our final chance to improve myself. I am extremely excited about what may be happening for Cali. I see so much more initiative and confidence and those are the two skills that you need in life to, to do everything else. You need confidence and initiative and she is getting that here. Um, I also see really hopeful signs of increased critical thinking and an ability to process language more quickly. Just yesterday was my sister's birthday and I had to quickly write out a little card for her, um, like saying happy birthday. And I used to only be able to say, um, oh, happy birthday, um, best of wishes. And that was all I could write. Yesterday I was able to write a, par like a really lengthy paragraph. So, and it was just, Best, it was all these lovely comments I was able to put into it and myself and my mum, we had a, got pretty teary-eyed because we couldn't believe how well the program had been working and I was shocked because I myself can't, I hate writing so much, it's, it's not funny and I was able to write more than my mum was able to, so I was very happy with that. You know, my other two children, they, they learn incrementally and they... They make slow, steady progress, right? They're, they're, the, the books that they read become more and more complicated slowly, and their learning goes like this. This is the first time in Callie's life that her learning is doing the same thing. Now when I read, I look up words more. I, I'm more interested in looking up words than me just naturally just skimming over them. If I don't understand them, that's just too bad, I don't care. Now I have like more of a interest in learning what the word is. I never really struggled in school. It wasn't really until the past few years in university when I was away that I realized that, you know, maybe something isn't, maybe something isn't quite right. You know, I was getting like very high marks on my assignments and lower marks on my, on my midterms and my exams. Um, and you know, it was taking me longer to learn things and understand things than, you know, my peers in my other classes. Definitely I can see changes when I look back on even how I was and what I did five weeks ago. Um, so for me, I was really annoying to my family actually. I always used to answer questions with questions. So, you know, they'd ask me something and I'd be like, oh, why? What, what, what do you mean? Or, you know, why are you asking me this? And I actually just noticed that I've kind of stopped doing that. And it wasn't even something that I realized that I was doing until, you know, I came in and had my assessment. And then I was like, oh, you know, it's because I'm not really making those connections, I'm not understanding where they're coming from and, and what they're trying to convey with that question. And, even something as subtle as that, I'm able to kind of put together those pieces and I don't have to answer questions with questions anymore. I can kind of interpret and I'm able to, you know, make those connections and actually understand what they're asking me. His math has improved already. Uh, just doing simple math for things, you know, in everyday life has really improved. His handwriting is better. Um, he's reading easier. He says he understands things that he's reading. And he's able to read uh, people now, like nonverbal cues, which he could never do. Um, so he's starting to be able to be able to catch on to things, uh, you know, the nonverbal cues you'd have in a conversation. I used to kind of ramble on about things, and now I'm kind of now I know like when to stop rambling and ranting. He's going into school this year, into high school, and. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him enjoying it instead of struggling. School actually now sounds more appealing than it used to be because it used to be such just a real struggle. But now it, I feel like it's going to be much easier. She's feeling happy, confident, uh, much more motivated about challenging things in the future. She feels that she's going to be able to master other things. It was like there was a little flame inside her that was fluttering. And it's a real glow inside her now. There's this real little burn in her of confidence, you know. And she's a, and we're seeing it for the first time because she's a kid that's never had confidence. She's never gone to school and said, yeah, I can do this. She's always gone to school 
with a, you know, an anxiety attached all the time that she's not going to understand, you know. She's come here and she suddenly gets it. She's suddenly understanding what's been given to her. I am so grateful to Barbara and so awed that she brought this to the world. Uh, we had a parent meeting last night. We were all clamoring. We want more. We want more. And, um, you know, she's dedicated her whole life to this and um, she's changing lives. I mean, this is, to me, absolutely miraculous. And being here, I am seeing this work. And from seeing other children and speaking to other parents, I now know that this works. And it's such an important message. All children and adults with learning difficulties um, can get to a point with this, this work and this program that the learning difficulties are not there anymore. And I'd like to tell the whole world about that because I think what Barbara has created here is just amazing. This is the last day in the, the graduation ceremony, so to speak, um, and it's been a fantastic experience. What we're doing, these targeted changes and exercises we do, does change the brain. If you don't believe in neuroplasticity, you will after you experience this. And I can only say to parents who would be thinking to come to a um, summer intensive, as we've experienced, um, just do it. Just do it.